Hi, Ed Fosdick. I'm the Director of Recruiting for Leonard's Express and today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about claims and uh, how they can affect our company. As you know, claims can come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, they can be accidents, incidents, they can be uh, temperature controlled loads. It can be anywhere from um, us not protecting our freight as far as bracing and locking and uh, strapping, workman's comp. There are so many things that fall in the category of claims uh, that can cost a company our size $1.5 to $2.5 million a year. So I hope some of the things we talk about you can keep in your mind and Kind of help us fight claims this year. Freight that comes to us damaged or freight that is damaged in transit can cost our company a lot of money. It's very important that we use the resources we have to protect our freight. Uh, once the freight is in your possession, uh, it's your responsibility to our customer and to our company to make sure it's secure. We use load bars that uh, we have here at Leonard's Express. We have straps and e-tracking in our trailers and when bracing when needed. And it's always important that uh, we're making sure that our freight's taken care of and braced properly, uh, secured properly. I think that after every stop, we should be bracing our freight, um, not just on the front and back ends. If your trailer happens to be sealed, uh, before you break that seal, Make sure you check with your driver advocate, but if so, we can check that freight and brace it as well before we take off for transit. We're going to encounter times that our loads require us to driver uh, load and count, and upon delivery, making sure that we have the same amount of freight that leaves our trailer that goes on our trailer. So make sure that when it's a driver load and count that we're making sure we're responsible and we're on that um, dock and we're making sure that we're getting all the freight that our bills say we're supposed to have. Also at Leonard's Express, uh, we certainly haul our fair share of temperature controlled freight, which means we are pulling reefers, containers, whatnot for our customers. It's important that we know on the bill of lading uh, what to set the reefers at, to pre-cool them when needed. Um, and, and when we load our freight, we want to make sure that we look at that temp tail, we pulp that trailer, we pulp the freight, uh, and even maybe go as far as take a picture uh, of that uh, thermometer to let you know that and keep it on your side that you know you've done your job and we know that that's set correctly. Some of our customers even have pre-programmed settings for our temperature controlled freight. Um, you can find those on the video section of Transflow and if you're sure not sure you can always ask your driver advocate. A bit more information on pulping your freight in transit. We certainly want to make sure we're setting that trailer to the correct temperature but in transit we want to check that at least a couple times during your daily trip to make sure that the reefer is working correctly and that we're achieving the right temperatures. You can certainly use the vent door uh, on that trailer uh, but don't break the seal and open the back doors unless you have uh, written permission to do so. Most importantly, before you deliver, before you actually pull into the receiver, you want to pulp your freight, uh, pulp the actual freight, uh, check the trailer, make sure we've got the correct temperature before we pull on to the receiver's site uh, to deliver. If you don't, please call your driver advocate immediately. Another area of claims uh, that certainly can affect the company, but also you and your family, would be workman's comp claims, injuring yourself on the job. It's really important for your health and safety to eat right while you're on the road, try to get some exercise on the road, and, and even your proper footwear, depending on where you are, the weather, the conditions, slips and falls, getting in and out of the truck using a three points of contact. If you ever encounter any of the situations where you have a claim, please contact your driver advocate. They will get you to a claims administrator uh, and walk you through what to do with that claim. If you have a refused product, they'll let you know where to take it. So in closing, please keep an eye on our claims. Be safe out there. I wish you all a great day and get home safe to your families. Take care.